Hi, I'm Jerry with PressureWasher.net, manufacturer of Bulldog Pro pressure washers and Sirocco vacuums. Um, we're going to talk about basic troubleshooting on an engine, get you started. Um, let's say that uh, it doesn't turn over, okay? If it doesn't even turn over, that's a starter function. The starter function has nothing to do with the carburetor. It has nothing to do with the charging system. It's a separate system, just like the bathroom is a different room in your house. Okay, so if the engine doesn't turn over, then you either have a bad battery, a bad connection, or a bad starter, or a bad starter solenoid, or a bad starter switch. So one thing that you can do that's really fast and, and easy is um, if it doesn't turn over at all, then you can go across the, uh, the starter solenoid. Um, there's two different units here, two different kinds of solenoids. Um, basically where the battery cable comes into the solenoid the other side goes to the starter if you put a, a wrench across those just for a moment and verify that power going directly to the starter makes it go then that tells you that there's something wrong with the control either it's the switch the fuse that protects the switch or the starter solenoid is not going on itself that's the basic idea um, if you have a um, starter solenoid that's that's bad you're going to be able to verify power at the starter solenoid when you turn the key to the on position so if you pull the wire off put your voltmeter in there uh on a b plus lead on your on your voltmeter there the other side to ground someplace um, so you're looking for 12 volts you turn your ignition switch on hit the start button if you don't get 12 volts you don't have power getting to it to tell the solenoid to go on. So now you're looking for a switch problem or the fuse that protects the switch. Not all engines have a fuse that protects the switch, but if yours does, that's where you're looking. It's not uncommon for starter switches to go bad. Starter switches are rated for, well, they're used for up to 30 amps. I wouldn't give those contacts in the common starter switch really more than a 15 amp rating. Um, they barely can do that for any length of time. And on Kohler engines, most of the Kohler engines have a key switch mounted inside the fan shroud, which means that as the air is being pushed across the engine, it pressurizes the fan shroud area. It also pressurizes the cold, wet, first thing in the morning moisture into the switch, and that makes the, the switch corrode out faster. Actually, I think on this new version, it's in its own little compartment. They've, they've solved that problem. On your older units, it's easy to find a bad key switch because they go through this. And the, the dead giveaway is first thing in the morning on a real cold, damp morning in the wintertime, that's when that switch wants to act up and not allow your engine to start. Um, that's a, those are bad contacts in a switch that got wet from the moisture. So um, then when it, w later on in the day when it warms up, maybe that switch works okay. There's several ways that a key switch can fail, but verified that it goes on or not is a matter of just checking the wire that goes to the solenoid. Um, if you um, don't have a full 12 volts, then don't expect the solenoid to open either. You might have a good switch, but it still doesn't want to turn over because you don't have enough voltage to actuate the solenoid. So you want to set your voltmeter for voltage, uh, 12 volts. You should read the same voltage at the battery. Let's say that battery has 12.3 volts on it. When you hit the start solenoid with, with, the, with the wire off, that is, we've disconnected the starter solenoid, we're only turning on the key switch, and we're verifying voltage getting across the key switch, there should not be a, a voltage drop. If the voltage drops to 12 volts or 12.1, when you've got 12.3 at the battery, you've got a bad switch. If you got good continuity, you got good power getting to the solenoid, it, and it's just not going on, guess what? You need a new solenoid. That's the basics of troubleshooting a engine that won't start.